ever find yourself cooking right out of the grocery bags? Well, that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I'm just in a big rush. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Do not inhale the spray. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now that I am have been overcome with the fumes of the cooking spray, <laughs> I'm all right. <clears throat> so I am just chopping up some smoked sausage. Smoked sausage is one of the things that I turn to when I'm in a rush. And I don't feel like cooking, so I just want to get something made up fast. And because I don't have to pre-cook this protein, it makes it a really good option on these kinds of days. So it actually is Sunday. So I was technically off today, but not really because I did have to go in today to do a training. Um, that took a couple of hours, and it is also one of my son's birthdays. So happy birthday, Ben, if you're watching. And we went out to lunch earlier. I was having such a hard time talking through this video with um, having already going through some issues with having a cold or some sinus stuff and breathing in the fumes from that cooking spray. So all I did next was add some beaten eggs and some tater tots. I let those cook until those tots were um, really crispy and the eggs were cooked. And then I just added some sausage gravy out of a can on top of that. That is not our favorite um, kind of sausage gravy at all, but I did not plan ahead on dinner for this night and I ended up making a quick trip into the Dollar General that's on the way home. And for a quick throw together dinner, this one turned out actually pretty good. The cheese on top of that gravy did make it taste a little better to us and actually everyone kind of loved this. We all agreed we would use a different gravy next time but in a pinch this one was just fine and we definitely um as a group overall like this recipe so we'll definitely put it back on the menu and maybe use a different kind of um gravy next time Again, I do apologize for apparently not being able to breathe and speak at the same time. We are all just kind of struggling with some uh, colds and whatnot, but doing the best I can this week. And here is my finished plate. This was a very simple dinner, but like I said, we enjoyed it. I would say this one is definitely comfort food. The next day I passed the baton on to Bill and told him that he was in charge of dinner because I knew I'd be getting home around 7 p.m. He made some steak and then we just heated up some broccoli to go on the side. Maybe I should do this more often. We would have steak more often, I guess. Looks like I'm home alone today. Um, Cameron went to a church thing with one of his friends and Bill is on a pool lead tonight so Dawson's doing his own thing and it looks like I'm here by myself making a giant sub. <laughs> I just got out of work. It's after six already. I did stay late today to do uh, serve safe training. It's like food handling. Um... So anyway, I'm just gonna cut this loaf of French bread in half and make up some subs. And then when everybody gets home, you can slice off what they want. And that'll be dinner. I got some chips and some dip and some pickles. All right, I just cut my um, bread down. I just decided everybody can do their own when they get home. Not even sure if they're gonna wanna eat when they get home. So, I'm going to sample some of this bread that I'm removing from the middle just so it's not so 
okay. Alright, that should do it. I know I always say I'm not a huge fan of cream cheese, but I do like the ham and cream cheese pickle roll-ups. So, I'm going to put some of that cream cheese here on my bread. I looked for the um, garlic and herb, but they didn't have it. <clears throat> Only in like a huge container in the Philadelphia brand and it was really expensive and I just couldn't do it. So plain cream cheese it is. Yeah, we're really low on mayo right now apparently and I didn't realize that when I was at the store. So I'm using a little bit of ranch. Now I like Black Forest ham and Cameron and Bill like the honey ham. I really don't like honey ham. I don't know, I just don't like my meat to be sweet. So I did compromise. In my mind it's a compromise. I got some hickory smoked turkey breast so that they have an option if they don't want to eat this. So we're gonna stop there. <clears throat> well, there's my ham and I'm gonna do some turkey now. This is going to have a lot of meat on it. Make no excuses for my actions. I've also got some leftover, oops, so sorry. I've also got some leftover slices of Gouda cheese. I did get some, um, Reaper, Carolina Reaper cheese for Bill and uh, the guys in case they wanted to really just like burn their tongue. <laughs> so this stuff is super hot. We do like hot cheese, but I don't know if I really like it that hot personally. And I mean, sometimes I do, but today just not feeling it. So I don't know why I'm breaking these up and then putting them right back together, but that's just how it kind of went out, I guess. There we go. All right, my oven just beeped, so I'm going to stick this in the oven and just get everything heated up and that cheese melty. <clears throat> to go with my sandwich, I'm just having some chips and French onion dip. So I've got that ready while my sandwich is under the broiler. I've been on a pickle kick lately. And so yesterday I bought a jar of dill pickle spears. And then today I was really just, this was calling to me. It was calling to me from the shelf, like, come and buy me. I love bread and butter pickles. No one else does, but... Feeling a little selfish, I guess. So, I'm going to just put a few of those on my plate. Okay, one more and we'll call it good. All right, hot stuff coming through. Let me get a towel down to protect my counter. And there's my toasted sandwich. So let's see, let's do a little bit of lettuce. And I have some black olives out of a can. Just bought the ones that are already sliced. Saves me some time, frustration. <laughs> I don't know, peeling little tiny olives is never fun in my opinion. And I think I'm just going to do just a drizzle more of that ranch. Close it up.
I hear that crunch. Put that on my plate. And that's my simple, quick, and easy, and warm and delicious dinner on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, I actually stayed home from work. I just was not feeling well. And when dinner time rolled around, I knew I needed something easy. So tacos are always a go-to. We're just gonna do some hard shells that I warmed up in the oven. We have a couple who like soft flour shells, so I'm just gonna let them warm up their own, either in the air fryer or the microwave. I have some onions chopped. We've got sour cream, avocado. I haven't decided if I want that or not. These are just the broken pieces of shells. And then that sharp cheddar cheese, shredded lettuce, a little bit of salsa, some hot sauce for the hubby. Doesn't everyone have a big, huge bag of Taco Bell hot sauces? I have my plate all dished up here. Got two hard shells and one soft shell. I just want to drizzle some of that Taco Bell hot sauce on them and then we're good to go. On Wednesday night before I went to bed, I decided to get my crock pot ready by adding a package of stew meat. Those leftover onions were still on my counter from when we had tacos earlier in the day. I started cutting up some of my red potatoes and then I realized that my chopper was still sitting there from when I used it to chop up onions. So I just used that to finish up my potatoes, which was perfect because you get the same size pieces every single time. I am making beef stew and usually I like to use canned carrots and stews and soups. I just like the texture of them so much better. I'm not a big, big fan of carrots in the first place, so these work out for me. I added a couple of heaping spoonfuls of better than bouillon beef flavored paste. I am also adding a couple cans of cream of mushroom soup. This is our preference for beef stew. I know a lot of people are anti cream of mushroom soup these days, but in my opinion, some of those crock pot recipes with cream of soups are some of the best. I did add a couple big spoonfuls of minced garlic. I put the lid on and then put it in the fridge overnight. That way in the morning I can let it sit on my countertop until the crock is um, room temperature. Then I just stick it in my crock pot and let it go. I did have a couple hours before I had to leave for work on this day. So this was um, the first stir and as you can see it is nowhere near done but I just gave it a quick stir and headed on to complete the rest of my day. I knew I had a lot going on. I had a volleyball game to go to. Um, I went to watch our granddaughter Haley play volleyball on this day. Our grandkids are all into sports and I try to make it to some of their games. I cannot make it to all of them. But when I did return home, I just had my dinner ready. Bill made some biscuits while I was out. They are just the Pillsbury kind that you keep in the freezer, pop them on a pan and throw them in the oven. Those come in so handy. Here I am just dishing up my beef stew. I'm ladling over um, that sauce from the stew right over those biscuits. And this was so delicious. Just a good old reliable crock pot dinner on a busy day.
On Friday, our work treated Bill and I to um, hibachi for lunch, and we had lots of leftovers, so that's what we ended up having for dinner on this day, and the kids just kind of did their own thing. Bill and I did also go out to dinner on Friday, and so we had popcorn and all of that fun stuff, so dinner was kind of like a do-your-own-thing, which I personally appreciate come Friday. Here you can see that I ordered the filet mignon with the chicken and the shrimp along with their fried rice, and there was so much food that um, I had plenty for lunch and also for dinner. Hello and happy Saturday. So I had to go get my durable mixing spoon and wash it. It was in the sink and I did open up the drawer and looked at a couple of my other spoons that are in there. But a big thing for me is um, I'm trying to live a simple life and it was something that didn't really matter to me in the past when I was younger. I didn't have to have a whole lot of kitchen gadgets and whatnot, but it just seems like as I get older, for some reason, I just, um, I like to have a, I mean, I don't like it, but I seem to pick up more and more <laughs> things like kitchen utensils or little appliances, so trying to control that urge and anyway so in my mind I'm thinking well if I have like a spoon for each purpose instead of like five or six spoons for every purpose then it'll save me space in my kitchen and then I won't have to do the dishes so often so anyway short story long it is Saturday which is the last day of the week as far as cooking and eating and dinners go and so last night we went out to the movies and we had dinner out a big work um lunch and so we were not hungry for dinner and since we went to the movies we ended up having popcorn and whatnot so today I woke up with some uh a little bit of an earache and a sore throat and Originally, I had something else in mind, but today I'm feeling like I want a nice spicy gumbo just to warm us up. So I'm getting some sausage browned up, and I will be back to show you the rest of it. I decided to just cut some onions up right into the cooking meat right now, um, instead of getting out the cutting board and everything and doing it that way. Next, I'm just adding some frozen jalapenos from our garden this summer. They smell so good. And those are gonna cook down and be nice and soft, just like I like them in a soup. And I'm kind of doing a, a big amount of peppers in here because I want our gumbo to be spicy. Um, you don't have to add as many peppers as I do if you're not into hot stuff, but we have like some kind of uh, sinus or cold stuff going around in our house. And so, hot and spicy is a good way to kick it right out. I'm just gonna put the lid on there and let it, sorry, that was not the right lid for that pot, but anyway, I'm gonna put the lid on and just let that kind of simmer. I'm um, not quite ready to put the gumbo to, all the way together yet, so we're going to just let that hang out for a little while. Don't you love when you only use a mixing 
or a measuring cup for water, then you don't have to wash it. You can just put it right back to dry. So anyway, I'm back. I've added six cups of water to my sausage, peppers, and onions. I just added the um, rice and seasoning mix. I am just using a Zatarain's gumbo mix out of a box. I have made gumbo from scratch one time ever in my whole life, and I don't think that I can do it any better. So we usually use the box mix. So I'm going to let that come to a simmer and let that rice cook. Then we will add our shrimp. In another pan, I just have some water that I'm heating up to cook some elbow macaroni. Um, just because I have a couple of the kids in the house who do not really care for gumbo so much. And so I just figured I would make kind of like a homemade hamburger helper. I'm going to just go ahead and use the rest of that box. There's just a few noodles left in it. So let me know if you can relate to having kids who are able to door dash and get their own food and do whatever they want. <laughs> so um, my kids just basically door dash some Taco Bell and so they actually have some Taco Bell left over in the fridge in case they are not liking what's for dinner, I guess. Not that they planned it that way, of course, but I'm just saying, I'm making gumbo for dinner Anybody who doesn't like gumbo can have either some of this hamburger helper or their tacos, whatever they want to do. Um, I do have some leftover taco meat that I got out of my freezer, and so that's what's going into our hamburger helper. Well, I pretty much boiled all the water out of the pan here with this pasta, so I'm gonna work on getting the rest of that out and adding the other ingredients. Okay, I just went ahead and I added that um, seasoned hamburger meat. It's taco seasoned. Um, so yeah, you can see some of the coal grease on it and that's just going to lend some flavor to this dish as well. Just going to mix that right up in there so it can heat through. It's already been cooked so that makes it that much easier. I was organizing my um, food in my pantry the other day and I found a whole box of these Velveeta cheese pouches. So I have way more than what I realized and so I figured that would go really well in this pasta dish for these kids. They're gonna love it. I get teased a lot for doing things like organizing and rearranging the food in the cupboards and whatnot. Like, <laughs> it's a joke. What are, you, what are you doing today? Rearranging the ramen? <laughs> so yes, it is very helpful though, I must say, if you get into your cabinets every now and then, move things around, and then you know what you have. So at this moment, my cabinets are very well organized and I have a better idea of what kind of inventory I have going on. So as you can see, my pasta is a little juicy still. And I did that on purpose because this is going to sit. It's still pretty early in the day, earlier than I normally would serve dinner, but I have it ready. And these noodles are gonna soak up all of this liquid. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna give that a taste and see if it needs any salt or pepper. All right, I'm just gonna put the lid back on that for the time being and turn the heat off. I know that probably looks like a lot of shrimp, but we're cool with it. All I'm doing now that my rice and everything is cooked is just dumping in some shrimp. I have this turned way down low. It is very hot, but these shrimp will only take a couple of minutes to cook up and turn pink. It's 
smells so good. The only thing left to do is get this garlic toast ready and that's going to be it for Saturday's meals if you've made it this far. Just want to let you know how much I appreciate you for sticking around. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more of my videos when I post them in the future. I will make sure that I post a or put a, a picture or video of how our dinner tonight turns out, but I want to get everything ready for editing, so I'm going to sign out now. I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I look forward to talking to you in the comments. Bye!